Across Ireland, more and more farmers and landowners are making use of their land in a long-term investment that is reliable, green and sustainable. Forests once covered 80% of Ireland's surface. Over the centuries we lost almost all of it, but it is rapidly replenishing. Today it is estimated that 11% of Ireland's total land area is now covered by forest, its highest level in over 350 years. Almost three quarters of the stocked forest area is less than 30 years old. This rapid growth saw many new forest owners get up and running, and privately owned forests now outnumber those owned by the government. In 2006, a new organization that represents forest owners was born, called the Forest Owners Cooperative Society. We can advise you all the way from soil testing to planting to managing your forest. We give advice and assistance with grants and premiums, plantation services, forest road grants, felling licences, harvesting, sales and haulage, as well as many environmental issues such as biodiversity. In the age of climate change, we see the bigger picture and are working closely with two government departments on a project related to climate carbon capture. The demand for wood products continues to grow. With so many uses, timber is one of the most sought after commodities in the world. The Forest Owners Cooperative Society is held in high regard by milling companies around Ireland and we give a unified voice to assist with the steady flow of timber from farmers. This year we'll handle something like a half a million cubic metres onto this site. So that will come in in log format and we will break down those logs into our sawn end use markets which is construction, fencing, pallet material, anything to do with wood in the actual home or in the outdoor garden centre. From this site here, 65% of the material that would leave here will be sold on the island of Ireland. The rest of it then will go to the UK. UK is a massive market. Um, UK market, I think at the moment, is something around about 9.5 million cubic metres of wood. So it's right on our doorstep. The second biggest import into the UK is wood next to oil. So it's a massively important ingredient in the UK economy. Like this is a clean, green industry that we need to nurture and grow. It does give the farmer, I believe, some opportunity for diversifying his actual income. It's not a quick win. No, this is a long-term business, you know what I mean? And that's why it's so important for us to develop long-term relationships. We need logs, and the farmer or the landowner has logs, and we need to encourage that relationship that they come and talk to us. And for us, the close cooperation with the co-op is really extremely important as far as we are concerned. But the co-op, to bring the farmers together under one umbrella, I think is, is much more advantageous from the farmer's perspective, as well as from our perspective, especially if the forest certification comes into, into being, because that's going to be a big, uh, big challenge for us going forward. And the more people that are in the group then, the much easier and the much more economical it is on the actual forest owner himself then. As well as the guaranteed sale of timber products, forests offer the farmer the opportunity to sell carbon offsets. Well, forestry, always and will into the future have an, a major effect on climate. But forestry is the best sequester of carbon we have at the moment. It offsets the actual greenhouse gases, the methane, the CO2 and the nitrous oxide, which we are creating at a phenomenal rate. But also it has a, an additional fact of having a carbon sink. It, uh, it is a tremendous locker of carbon, both above the ground and below the ground. The forest owners at the moment should look at the value of their forestry. They seem to look at the standing timber and say they have a value for that. They shouldn't forget that beneath the ground and from the soil level down, there is a massive carbon sink. It's, it's sequestering something in the region of 500 tonnes per hectare of biomass. Now most of the biomass in that is carbon, that's 60% at least of carbon. So that is a tremendous effect on climate and it's locking up carbon where it should be locked up, beneath the ground. Forest at the minute is a bit of a, at a crossroads, but I think we have to take in the right turn. 
I think forestry has an enormous potential for the future. I envisage most farmers in this country will be enticed to plant some form of forestry. I think there's enormous potential there for forestry. Co-ops in Ireland have always been successful ways of bringing farmers together and have played a key role in the development of rural commerce. We have seen what other co-ops can achieve in other sectors, such as dairy. But we can even do better because we are in a new industry and when we can do things together, we can achieve so much more. The Forest Owners Cooperative Society have direct contact with decision makers in national government and have regular talks with important state bodies, including the Department of Agriculture. We also make our voices heard beyond our shores in the European Parliament. Being part of the Forest Owners Cooperative Society gives you the benefit of professional shared assistance. We provide an effective interface between forest owners and industry. The industry can develop with the knowledge of what timber is available into the future. Partnership is the power of the cooperative. You can be part of that effective and influential network. Join the Forest Owners Cooperative Society and let us help you plan for the future today.